Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Dennis. Forgive my voice. I just can't seem to catch a break here. I got a pancreatitis attack last week and I got a flu to go along with it now. Anyhow, this week's video is how to back up and restore to your new computer your Steam games. Often we have all our games in one spot in Steam and we move to a new computer and our biggest worry is I'm gonna save all I'm gonna lose all my saved games. In this video I'm going to show you how to back them up, how to restore them, and how to put them onto a new system and continue off where you left. All right, here we go. So today's video, we're going to talk about backing up your Steam games when moving to a new system, or if you just want to back them up. So open your Steam, go to the top left where it says Steam, and here you have the option of back up and restore your games. Sorry for my voice, I got a bit of a cold here. Uh, back up currently installed games or restore previous backup. Okay, so we're going to back up currently installed programs. I'm just going to choose Tarnie Tracing, it's fairly small I do believe. I'm going to click Next. Now we have to find our directory. Mine is a flash drive, so I'm just going to click Browse. And I know it's J drive, so you have to scroll down here. Click the directory. I've already created a Steam backup folder. Now if you haven't created one, it'll say New Folder. You can create it, and then you click Select. So now that I've done that, and I click Next. And next again, and it's going to start backing it up. So when that's done, I'm going to take it to the system I want to uh, restore the games to, and I'll show you what that looks like. So it will take a little while, and it all depends on the size of the file. This one actually is something I play quite often, so it's quite a fair size. I do recommend if you're going to do this too often, uh, you might want to have like a external two terabyte drive, so you got lots of space and you can just do them all at once. And that is it. Now I'm just going to say finish, and we're going to go to our system. We want it to restore this too. So I'm going to close this down. Let's move on to the next phase. Okay, we're at our new PC. We're going to open up Steam. Here's our current tracing. Now, I did this already. It didn't record the volume. So, I'm just going to walk it through here again. So, go up to Steam. Go to Backup and Restore Your Games. Backup currently. But, nope. We want to restore a previous backup. Click Next. You're going to have to browse to your drive. So, click up here. Go all the way down. Here's your Steam Backup we created. There's my currently tracing. Select that folder and click next. Actually, I'm going to go back because I'm going to show you what's going to happen. If I do it this way, it's going to want to install the game, which we, it's already on here, so we don't need to do that. So let's do this again. I'm going to browse and just go to disk one because that's where all the information's at. So we're going to select that, click next. Okay, it wants to do it anyway. So anyway, okay, click next. It's going to go in, it's going to validate all the files, and see that up here, and then we're going to click finish. And that's all there is to it. Now, when you go up here and you back up your games, so you could go back up now and select any game, like Far Cry 5, whatever it is, the different games are going to have bigger files. So keep that in mind, uh, and the more you choose, the bigger the files are going to be. So... You might want to do one or two at a time, or just the ones that you really care about. Otherwise, it's just going to take up too much space, and a flash drive may not handle it. You might have to have like a two terabyte external drive. All right. Hi right, everybody. So I hope you liked that video. Uh, sorry about the voice. Um, if you like it, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Uh, hit that bell for future notifications so you can see upcoming videos as they come up, and 
Thank you for subscribing if you're new here. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.